Hi y'all. When I did my short Sunday, I mentioned that I had footage from my June Stitch Fix unboxing and try on that I had never put up. And most of y'all said you'd like to see it, even though it is the end of August. Actually, today, as I record this, it is the last day of August. So I did put that footage together and it will follow this little blurb. And then at the end of that, I'll come back on and I'll let you know what I kept and what I didn't keep. So let us travel back in time to June. See you on the other this end. This came yesterday and I have not had a chance to open it till today because last night was really, really busy. So I restrained myself. So we shall open this. Mary, what do you have? All right. My broadsword. All right. This is actually, that's more of a scimitar. That's the pirate sword. It's blunt for training. So it's okay. not short. Okay. You want to explain like, what that sword is for? It's, it's Here, hold training. it up. For it's training, training for training it's completely in what? Dull. It's not broadsword. That's like a scimitar. It, we, it's like a, we call it a broadsword in kung fu. In kung fu? Okay, it's so like that's a, a kung fu Chinese training sword. sword. Anyway, I'm just opening the box. It cut a little bit. It cut a little bit. All right. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll tell you the story about me in the car wash with Mary's kung fu gear. Uh, that'll be at the end. Anyway, oh, this I is my Stitch Fix that. box. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, what I wrote to Mitch, uh, I said, disregard all my other specifications. I think everything except size. Um, disregard all my color specs, all my clothing, everything I said. And it's my birthday, so you pick. So I really hope I got Mitch. <laughs> we'll see what we got. In the box, I have my little envelope. And the envelope has, oh, hello. This is my note for my stylist and my styling cards. Information on a Father's Day fix. I don't think Daddy would be into that. Can you get me the Father's Day fix? My invoice. My bag to return anything prepaid that I do not want to keep. And, oh, my burrito. Everything's falling out of said burrito. Everything's falling out of said burrito. Now, this looks really interesting. Thing. This, by the way, looks blue on camera, but it is kind of a teal, teal. green. It's green. Yeah, it's not blue. <gasps> and everything's falling out. Oh, Mitch. Okay, and another little jewelry. Let's, should we read the note first? Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. This has got to be Mitch from that fix. Yes. All right. Hi, Monica, and happy birthday to you. I type, I'd type out the birthday song for you, but since someone went and copyrighted it, I guess I'll have to save this note for discussing fashion instead. <laughs> I included a couple of styles for you in this fix that I thought would be amazing choices for celebrating the big day with your family. One look at the Margaret M. Maxi skirt with its brown and gold tones and deep blue accents made me think of you. And when I saw the status pattern top, I knew the stunning mix of patterns would make for an uber trendy look. The teal Daniel Rain eyelet blouse also jumped out at me, especially when I imagined it paired with a camel tone of the Lila Ryan skinny jeans. Have a blast trying these on, and happy birthday to you. Be glad you don't have to hear me singing it. I can't hold a note to save my life. Love, Mitch. What the heck? Oh, it's oh, got it's, it's got a it's got a cami under it. <laughs> I really need one of those. Hmm. Um, it is button up and that always concerns me because I am somewhat big busted. Button I'm not up. huge, but I'm big button. It's kind of hidden the button up. So we'll see if it gaps, but that looks very cool and comfy and light. This, the colors on this look awesome. And I really it's hope, cool. yeah, you remember that scarf I got a while ago? I really like, it's a large though. Oh, it's made in USA. It's not a large petite. Oh, it looks like the neck won't be too much of a problem, though. No? Actually, those colors go... Those are my colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are... Okay, skinny jeans. These are definitely cropped. And let's see. 30 petite. That is 10. And we'll see. I love, love, love the color. This is my color. I love it. It's an eye. It's looking at you. I thought it was a fish. Like if an you amoeba? The other oh, one. that would be cool. Hmm. A maxi skirt. Now, 
I am so short. This is like really late 60s, early 70s. 1968 to 1971. Is that actually I'd peg a it. skirt? It's like actually it is a maxi skirt. Like um, I'm going to stand up on camera here. and uh, All right, well, this is cool. Um, it is kind of a synthetic-y material. I don't know how it would be. It is a large. Um, so we'll see if it fits. Uh, my main concern would be length, although a hem on a skirt is pretty simple. Not for me, but I mean, that's easy enough to do. For some reason, I thought you were saying you were scared it was going to be short, and I was like, mom. This is not going to be short, unless I just wear it like up here. Then it might be a little short. It looks like it <laughs> this is too short for me. I'm really into modest like dressing. That. All right, yes. I am into modest dressing, but this would not be too short for me. All right. It's rather large. That? All right. Very big. It looks like it could be a portal in time and space. Yeah, Moose got really upset when I came down wearing this. Uh, let me fix the camera a little bit. Okay. See the box on here. Now, does this go together? The teal and the, um, again, it's a little tealer than it's showing up the camera. This skirt, I have to say, it looks like giant amoebas are attacking or there's eyeballs looking at you or there's psychedelic petunias, like somebody who's been clean and sober. For 40 years, but did a lot of LSD in the 60s. If I, if he sees the skirt, he'll just have a flashback. I love it. I love this absolute craziness. And who wouldn't want amoebas on their skirt? Down to my feet. Um, it is really comfortable. It is wee, flowy and swingy. Ouch. You're not having scandalous ankles showing. I'm not ankles. having scandalous ankles showing. I failed my IQ test putting on the eyelet top. Um, the buttons are in the back. Lay down, buddy. Okay. Um, I look really like the <coughs> on you, especially with these jeans. Well, I put these jeans on first because I kind of want to show these are tens. Kind of how these fit on me. I always have that horrible belly thing there. Because um, I'm going to compare them to the other ones. And... Uh, I want opinions on that. These are actually ten petites, and look at look at my feet and their petites. Um, I should cuff them. This shirt. I also failed my IQ test when I put this shirt on. Okay, this shirt has a cutout right in here, and I thought the cutout was in the back, so I put this on backwards. Um, um, I will say. Um, I think. If my shoulders, again, were kind of a normal height, this camera is really hard to get in, the cutout would be there. The cutout, if I wear this normally, is actually really low, and it falls into itself, and you can't even see there's a cutout. I could just stitch it shut. So I'm on the fence about this. It's made in the USA, which I like. I love the color. I do have that on you, so. Actually, if it was up higher, and I normally hate Cutouts if it was up higher, it would be there, fine. If my shirt, that would be fine because there's nothing showing and it's it actually works really well. So I could also just have this raised. Would that help have you on raised. Problem if it was raised? Ooh, would it? Yes, it would. Oh, look at that. Mary, you're right. Yeah. The like yellow Lila Ryan jeans, they fit around my waist just fine in the 10. Uh, I'm not sure they fit through here. And I'm not just talking about the problem area I'm always complaining about. Um, I thought the whole... I thought they looked a little funny, but I'll put them on and you can tell me what you think. Now, I had Lila Ryan skinny jeans in 32s, and they don't, they fall off me. I'm just, I lost too much weight for them to fit me anymore, but I really like those. Um, I wore them all the time, and I got them, I guess, last fall before I lost a lot of weight. And uh, these are very, very similar, except they're cropped, and um, I just don't think they fit right. I love the color tremendously. They're too but tight. They're too tight in here, and my big old fat calves. I have fat calves, and I have, you know, they're just they're just too tight. Okay, recap of that June stitch fix. What did I keep? 
And what did I send back? I don't know, you all who get unboxings, if you ever sort of... I frequently wish I had kept something I didn't keep over something I actually kept. And I decided this time for practicality, for the most part, would rule. So what I kept... I kept the little Daniel Rain teal top, even though it was probably one of my least favorite things in there, and I kept it because I need solid tops for work, and that would actually really do the job. Um, I did not keep the long skirt, and I kind of wish I had. Um, I wasn't sure I had anything to go with it on top. And in retrospect, I wish I had just gotten myself kind of a nice quality, solid color t-shirt to wear with that skirt because I really liked it a lot. I liked its swishiness. I liked its giant amoebas. Um, I just needed something to tone it down uh, to make it work. And I did keep the, uh, the necklace because it looked like a time-space portal, which is a really bad reason to keep a piece of jewelry, I guess. Um, sorry about the glare of my glasses. I keep forgetting I have that. So, I don't have much use for that. I think if I'd kept the skirt and had a plain shirt to go with it, that necklace would have worked really well. So, maybe I'll request a skirt like that again. We'll see. Um, I also kept, because Mary really liked it, I kept this top, but I do need to adjust the shoulders because if I adjust the shoulders and shorten them so it's more of a petite size, it looks fine. I'd probably wear it tucked in. I'm not quite sure the hemline's good, but the color was good and Mary really liked it on me. And that's the main reason I kept it. So out of that fix, I kept the teal top out of practicality. And if those jeans had fit, I mean, that box was... I think in skinny jeans I need a 12 and in regular jeans I need a 10 is the way it is. Uh, the skinny jeans were just too skinny and um, I love the color though. So the jeans went back because they didn't fit and I, I just wasn't sure they were such a skinny pair. I just wasn't sure even sizing up would work. The skirt went back only because I didn't want to keep four out of five. Oh, I wish I'd sent the teal top back and kept the skirt. But I have worn the teal top. I've gotten use out of it, and that's that's what I have to look at. So that's what I kept here, and uh, I do have another box sitting in the hall, which came today, my September fix, and I will shoot when Mary's off work tomorrow and I'm off work tomorrow, so we will shoot an unboxing and a try on of that, and hopefully I will get it up before two months have passed. Sorry for all the jump cuts in this. I was trying to cut it together quickly just to get it up, just so you could see what was in the box. And um, I will see you again very soon.